What do you got on there, John? Nice mahi mahi, donkey. Yay. Tuna, mate. Yeah, I've had a bit of a rocky time. About 3.30 in the morning. I haven't slept at all. Welcome to uh, Cabo San Lucas in Mexico. Time to go for a bit of a walk, a bit of a hike. I'll show you a bit of a layout of how Cabo San Lucas sits on the tip of the Baja Peninsula. We're going up there. Check out this uh, building site. This is super sketchy. Almost a sheer drop off the side of the footpath. You certainly wouldn't want to be walking along this uh, little part of the footpath with a few drinks in yet night. You look away down in there, that's where we're staying in the Casabala Hotel. Ooh, here we go, made it. Got the uh, Cabo Marina down there, this is what this whole place is based around. The peninsula there, the arches. Off up here to the left you got the East Cape goes up into um, the Sea of Cortez. And you look around here to the right, that's all the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, so we made it here a few days ago. We've got five anglers, two boats. We're doing a bit of inshore and offshore fishing, so everyone's got a shot at trying to catch striped marlin and rooster fish, what this sort of place is famed for. We've got our other crew behind us here. Jenny, she's on board. Dina and um, John. Captain Jaime. Morning, Jaime. Morning. Mike and uh, Judy. Regular occurrence every morning. Leave the harbour, buy your bait on the way out. So easy. and it's a bit rough. Well done, Dirty. Mike's hooked up on a mahi. Smile. Mike's got a uh, nice mahi on. It actually looks like a really good size, so I can't wait to see it come up. Yeah, yeah. Hey! <laughs> well done, Mike. Yeah. Awesome. Go, 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 go. Is that about it, Judy? Pretty cool? That's pretty really nice. like about uh, Total Santos is it's, it's just a lot cruisy, a real quiet little town by the sea. It's actually quite nice just to get out of Cabo for a day and get into a town that's actually a little bit more normal and quiet. It's still a touristy town but we have got sort of an arty sort of a feel to it, a lot of local sort of art and pretty cruisy place. There's a little spot down here I'll show you and uh, we got a little family photo. Let's just see if it's still there. 
right there. And I think from memory, we were sitting on that wall. So it's been, uh, it's been pretty good so far. I, I've had a bit of a rocky time. I don't know if you remember a couple of videos back, uh, I mentioned they had something wrong with me. I've got, got an autoimmune disease, so my body thinks my liver is a foreign object and it's trying to kill it. Been on some pretty heavy med medication to try and get my um, liver numbers right. So it's been really affecting my sleep majorly. Um, it's been quite, quite scary sometimes. Flew over here and something triggered it and, and, and I literally, I, I couldn't sleep. I haven't slept at all this night. It's, um, it's about 3.30 in the morning. and I think I've only had about like six hours sleep in the four nights. I'm trying, but I don't have any sleeping pills with me. Oh, but I'll see if I can get, it, get at least half an hour sleeping before everyone wakes up. Yeah, by the fourth day, I was, I was really bad. And it's the first time I've ever had to not go out fishing. Oh, well, not the first, it was second time, actually. In 20 years, second time I've had to cancel a day's fishing. Sent, sent the crews off, went home and went to bed and uh, managed to find the same sleeping pills that I'm supposed to be taking. I've got to be quite careful because the wrong medicine would affect my liver. So took half a tablet, got a solid four hours sleep, took another one that night and slept like a baby for eight hours and woke up feeling like a million bucks. You know, sometimes you just got to take some time out, recheck, and get yourself sorted. All right, that's enough talking, guys. You've heard enough about me. Let's get into the fishing. That's what you're here for. Got him. Well, first fish we're hooked up this morning. What do you got on there, John? Nice mahi mahi. Donkey. 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 Yeah. <laughs> well done, John. That's pretty cool, eh? Thank you. I'm so happy with that one, mate. <laughs> and another one. <laughs> oh, it's all on. We've just caught uh, three yellowfin in the cooking station. Dean is hooked up again. We have another tuna. Hey guys, you look like you've had a Busy morning. What's that morning? What's that down there, mate? Yeah. Feels like we've had a long day. It's only 10.30 in the morning. A couple of mahi, 20 odd little yellow for tuna, and now Dean is on the striped marlin. Woo, what a day. Got a lot of line on the uh, spool there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> What a day, eh? We've had um, three striped marlin to the boat. So all the anglers caught striped marlin. A couple of nice mahi mahi. John got that real big beauty of a buddy mahi. And then we had a really cool little bite on um, small yellowfin tuna on the light tackle. We ended up getting about 20, so yeah, what a fantastic day.
It's what the, these trips are all about is B and I in our off season in the winter we organise fishing adventures all over the world, go to quite remote places. Um, we call it bucket list fishing, you know, where you're going to catch you know, certain species and quite possibly some of the best parts of the world to catch them. That's what we do in our winter. Other places we go, print, you know, Prince Edward Island for the giant tuna. Sometimes we go to Hawaii, Costa Rica, Guatemala, Trinidad and Tobago, all different species, you know. We love the adventure and love traveling, so yeah, that's part of what we do in our winter from New Zealand. Uh, it's the start of our uh, last day fishing here in Cabo. It's been a pretty awesome trip. Uh, with everyone ticking off a whole lot of species off their bucket list. So it's been really awesome hanging out with these guys. It's been an amazing trip. And hopefully we're going to get in some rooster fish today. Yeah, you got them on. What you got on there, homie? The rooster fish. It's a pretty spectacular bite there, Don, eh? That was a solid strike. John, what do you think of that, mate? Beautiful. Whoa, that is a beauty. <laughs> oh, <shut up. laughs> You've got a good bite going on here, guys. I think you've got a rooster arm. That's quite hard for this size, eh? Yeah. Hey, it's worked. Release. There we go. Bloody hell. That is beauty, Dana, look at the side. <laughs> Last morning here in Cabo, thought I'd go for a quick walk down the beach, out the end of the marina. You can see behind me all the boats going out. Good time to reflect on the trip. It's been absolutely incredible. Um, it certainly had its challenges at the start for me, um, but we got through that with the help of some good people and you know, understanding that I needed to have some time out. And uh, if things aren't going quite right, take time out, you know, put the brakes on, stop, recheck, get it sorted, and then get back onto it and come in there a lot stronger. But yeah, feeling good now, and I'm getting on a plane this afternoon, flying to Kona, Hawaii. My good mate Simon Brown from the High Fly, he's going to be picking me up. My family's coming in in a couple of days' time. We're going to spend a couple of weeks over there together, which I'm so looking forward to. I'm really missing them. And I've got a really cool group of uh, anglers coming in from the US, and uh, yeah, we're going to share their story with you guys. So thanks for tuning in. If you've watched us to the end um, on our Cabo St. Lucas adventure, adios.